In this video, we'll look at two things. First of all, is it a function or not? And then we'll calculate or figure out the domain and range. All right, first function we've got here is a mapping rule. It says 21, 28, and 35 are the x's, and 0, 2, and 5 are the y's. And furthermore, x of 21 goes to 0, y of 28 goes to 2, and it also goes to 5. And the x of 35 goes to 5. Is it a function or not? Well, it's important to distinguish here. This is definitely a no. No. But you get your marks from explaining why. So let's explain why this isn't a function. The reason, in fact, first I'll tell you the one that people often point out is, hey, look, two things are going to five. That's not a problem. You can have as many arrows as you want going to five. What makes this not a function is this 28 having two outputs or two y values. No, it's not a function, not because of these double fives, but because 28 or x equals 28 has two y values. 2 and 5. When you have two y values for 1x, that makes it not a function by definition. So again, I want to reiterate, I've seen this mistake many times. It's not that two arrows go to one y value, it's that an x, in this case 28, has two possible outputs, two y values. That is, x28 could be the answer is 2, or x28 the answer is 5. That's by definition not a function. An x value with two possible y's. So no. But we can still talk about its domain and range. And when you just have numbers like this, you just list it off. The domain is the set of x equals, and you should put the numbers in order, although in this case they are. All right, here's my domain. The domain is the set of x equals 21, 28, or 35. Done. It's just as simple for the range. You put your curly brace, you write y, and you list off the possibilities that y could be. I'll read that for you. The range is the set of y equals 0 or 2 or 5. Done. We know it's not a function. We explained why, and we stated domain and range. Let's look at a table, or a table of values. In this case, we've got negative 2 is 3, 4 is 7, 1 is 9, and negative 2 is 5. That's problematic. Our answer is going to be no again. And just like before, the problem is an x, in this case negative 2, has two possible y values. So our answer is no because x equals negative 2 has two y values. In this case, 3 and negative 5. By definition, if you have an x that has more than one y value, you're not a function. But we can still state domain and range. Once again, we've just got some points. So we state what the x's can be. And you'll note that they're not in order, so you should put them in order. And you should also note not to list something twice. What can x be? It can be negative 2. Just put it once, because you just want to say it can be negative 2. You don't need to tell me it can be negative 2 multiple times. In order, it's negative 2, then 1, then 4. I'll read that to you. The domain is the set of x equals negative 1 or, f sorry, negative 2 or 1 or 4. The range, another list of numbers. Again, put it in order. They can be a negative 5 or a 3 or a 7 or a 9. This reads, the range is the set of y equals negative 5 or 3 or 7 or 9. Great, we did 2. We got a last one, which is a sketch, a very rough sketch, but notice I put my arrows, labeled my x and y axis, and I labeled the endpoints of this oval. It's negative 7 and 7, and negative 3 and 3. Is it a function? Well, the answer is no, for a similar reason than last time, that there are a whole bunch of x's. And be careful, lots of times people put every x has more than one y. That's actually not true. This x right here, negative 7, only has one y value, 0. This x right here, x equals 7, only has one y value, 0. But lots of x's, for example, this x has two y values, or this x has two y values. And we can think of that graphically. If you can pass a line 
that's a vertical, perfectly vertical line. If you get even just one that hits the function in two spots, here and here, I just marked it. If you get that line touching the function in two spots, it's not a function because this x has two y values. We call that vertical line tests. And you can write VLT. So you can say no because some x's, for example, this one, but it's hard to specify what this x is. Instead, I would just say no because it fails the vertical line test or VLT. Clearly when you draw a vertical line there are multiple vertical lines even though you just need one. There are lots of vertical lines that would touch the function two places, not a function. Has to pass vertical line test for every possible vertical line and this failed. But like before, even if it's not a function we can still get its domain and range. The domain in this time is x is an element of real numbers. That just means x can be anything. It can be any decimal, any fraction. You can have 5.793 or 1.252329 or you could have a quarter. But what you can have is past these boundaries of 7 or negative 7. So we're going to say x can be any real number or x is an element of real numbers such that this vertical bar, here's the restriction. The lowest we can go is negative 7. The highest we can go is 7. And our x has to be between those. How do you say between in mathematics? We say the x here has got to be greater than negative 7. Can it be equal to? Yeah, for sure. It could be greater than or equal to the negative 7. But it has to be less than or equal to positive 7. Let's close the brace. I'm going to read that to you. The domain is the set of x is an element of r such that negative 7 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 7. Or in other words, x can be any number as long as it's between and including negative 7 to 7. The same sort of pattern is true for the range. We're going to set up the set of y as an element of r such that this time the y's are limited by a negative 3 and 3. So the y's have to be bigger than or equal to the negative 3 and less than or equal to the positive 3. That is, here's a recipe for all the y's that are allowed while you're on this oval. You could have a y as low as negative 3 and a y or a height as high as positive 3. Let's read this range. The range is the set of y is an element of r such that negative 3 is less than or equal to y and y is less than or equal to 3. Or in other words, y can be any number, decimal fractions, as long as you stay between negative 3 and 3. And so we've done it. We've figured out if these things were functions or not, and we stated their domain and range.